Hello everybody, welcome back to the Swing Shop. We're gonna talk a little bit about one hand today. One of the big issues, Brian, I think one of the main, probably the largest issue in the swing is the bottom hand. Yes. I think so many times kids lose the feel of what that bottom hand is really trying to do, mm -hmm. where we're trying to get to, what path we're trying to take, and it causes our bat to get out of line a lot sooner than it's supposed to. Yes. Some things that we've been noticing with the kids that we've been working with, as well as some kids um, in our Camwood Discord chat, is some issues with that one hand, where that direction's going, how the hand is set up when they get, when they get set to mm -hmm. begin with. Yeah. Um, so some things that we're gonna point out here is kind of what we're thinking, what we're trying to get our kids thinking as they're going through this one hand drill. Yeah. The main thing we all, you hear us talk about it so much um, is stability. You have to have mm -hmm. stability in your body. You can't be narrow with your feet. You gotta spread out. Yeah. You gotta get solid and feel your weight sink down yes. into my hips a little bit. Mm -hmm. Once you're in that position, and you get your hand set up, everything we're doing here is based off the straight line. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that we line up in somewhat of a straight line with our arm. A lot of times we'll see kids getting up here. I mean, I'm not telling you not to put your hands high, but when, they, when their hands go high, they have a tough time lining that bat up, yeah. getting their hand in the right spot because they've got too far to go. Yeah. So we wanna make sure that we're nice and set up with a good straight line. And then all I'm focused on here is trying to get from here down past the ball yes. as quick as possible, as fast as I can get there. Mm -hmm. The rest of this bat is gonna do what it's supposed to if I move the right way. Yep. So many times kids take this one-hander and they're trying to get the whole bat through the zone. Mm -hmm. Their body gets off, they may hit it on the sweet spot, but we're not getting that line drive to the right side like, or to oh, the yeah. opposite field like, we're, like we want. Yeah. We're getting that line drive that's hooking, that's going down um, more towards the ground. So I gotta make sure that I'm set up, that I have a good stable base, and that I'm just focused on moving that weight, all this right here, past the ball, quick, loose, mm -hmm. and straight, keeping my eyes down. Good, okay. Just working on driving that weight past the ball, starting it with my elbow. Great, now I want to also point out guys, when Jonathan's doing this, you don't see a big shoulder tilt one way or the other. Mm -hmm. If there's anything you kind of want to see when you go to fire this, it's a little bit more of a downward angle with that shoulder. But we don't want to see this start to collapse, yeah. okay? This That's... is going to be a big issue, especially down with my core. We mm -hmm. talked about stability. If this isn't what it's do, if this is not doing what it's supposed to, it's not tensing up a little bit, and when I start to drive, mm -hmm. you're going to see some of that dip happen, yeah. okay? And that's going to really change our path and really hurt us and how consistent we can be. On. A lot of kids are, I mean, topping balls, they're mm -hmm. popping up, and it's because their shoulders are getting yeah. off of that level plane. Yes. The shoulders have to stay flat. Uh -huh. Everybody's heard, take a level swing. It's not the farthest thing from the truth. Yeah. We have to be level with the line of that pitch, mm -hmm. as level as we can. And so any kind of looseness in our body is going to allow that weight to put us in a bad spot. So yeah. we've got to make sure, like you're saying, we've got to have that core stable before we drive, we gotta be solid before we drive. And then once we drive, we just basically follow our eyes. Use our eyes to take us past the ball. Mm -hmm. Not going out, not going trying to hit the ball. Yeah. I'm just trying to go past the ball as loose and quick as I can. Tighten up a little bit right there. Not bad though. Good. Yeah. Look at that hand. Good. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy, not trying to do too much here. Again, this is a one hand drill. Yes. It's a one hand drill. Mm -hmm. It's all about feel, making sure that I can be consistent as possible with one hand yep. before I get ready to move into my two hands. Yep. So take those tips, tricks, use them to your advantage. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you, we'll see you again next week for another tip of the week.